Here's a short explanation for Minecraft Builders and Biomes Farmer's Market Expansion. If you are not already familiar with Minecraft Builders and Biomes, take a moment to watch our explanation of the original game in the link below. This game is an expansion and not a standalone game. You will need the original version of the game in order to play. The expansion from Ravensburger is for 2-4 to four players ages 10 and up. The average game time is about 30 to 60 minutes, with the objective of the game to be the player who has the highest score at the end of the three rounds. Here's what's in the box. 20 building tiles, 1 marketplace board, 18 item tiles, 32 vegetable tokens, 6 new player skins, 3 item reference cards, 8 overview cards, and 8 experience counters. To set up, first take the building tiles and find the four that are double-sided. Set those aside. Next, shuffle the new 16 building tiles in with the rest of the building tiles and set up the play area like you would normally for a game. You can tell which of the tiles belongs to the expansion pack as they have these yellow squares which indicate the farms. Players set up the mining cubes, weapons, and player skins the same way they would for a regular game. Next, set up the market to the side of the playing area. Sort the market items by the symbol on the back of them, either X, A, or B. Shuffle each pile. Deal to the four spaces one item on each box like this. The extra items will not be used for the game. Players collect their map. They place their experience marker on zero. Each player will collect one of the double-sided building tiles from the expansion, depending on how many players will determine which side that you use. Place that building tile on your map over one of the already existing green biomes. Now, each player will collect the appropriate vegetable token and place them in the yellow square inside their farm. Flip over the first row of market items on the marketplace board. Now, we're ready to start the play. When a player takes a turn, they are allowed to do two different actions during the turn. Now, with the expansion, there is an extra option that players can choose to do. The actions allowed are collect two blocks, move zero to two spaces and reveal cards, build a structure, fight a mob, collect a weapon, or the new option, buy from the marketplace. If a player chooses to buy something from the marketplace, you can see the cost of each item in the lower right-hand corner of the tile. They each cost a different amount of vegetables. If you wish to make a purchase, you harvest your vegetables from your farm and return those to the stockpile. You then take the item and place it in front of you for the remainder of the game. These items will give the holder different abilities. There is a complete list of all of the items and their abilities on this cheat sheet, which all players can use for a reference. For example, this item here, which kind of looks like a cheese grater, is a minecart. The player who has this in their possession will be allowed to move three spaces when they take an action instead of two. They are able to do this through the remainder of the game whenever they choose to use the movement action. It takes a while to learn all of the different items and their abilities, so you'll need to keep that cheat sheet handy until you've memorized them all. When a player decides to build a new structure that includes a farm, once the new structure is placed, you also place the corresponding vegetable tokens on that farm structure. When a vegetable token is removed for use in the market, the farm remains empty until the end of the round. Once a new round begins, all farm structures receive a new batch of vegetable tokens, so it is important to use your vegetable tokens before the end of a round. Vegetable tokens not used during a round do not carry over to the next round. When the third round ends, there is a new region for scoring opportunity, and that is with the farmland. If you choose to score your farmlands in the third round, they are worth two points per connected region. You can see the reminder on the scoring chart shown here. Another extra for this expansion are these experience points tokens, with 50 on one side and 100 on the other. When scoring, if you pass 50 points, you collect the 50 point token. 
And then if you pass 100 points, you flip that token over to indicate that you've scored over 100 points. Otherwise, the rest of the game is played exactly like the original version of Minecraft Builders and Biomes. The Farmer's Market expansion gives some great new additions for this fun and exciting game. Remember, if you need a refresher on how to play the original game, just click on the link below. So, now you know the basics, let's play.